Abali ku radio mukama ba omukisa. Those on the radios, may God bless you. Abali ku mikutu YouTube, Facebook, mukama ba omukisa. Those on the different media platforms, YouTube, Zoom, Facebook, may God bless you. Namwa batufunira ku mikutu ya TV ejenja ulo, may God bless you. And those that get us from the different TV stations, may God bless you. Amanya Sakira Ronald. His name is Sakira Ronald. Ndiwa na kugabana na we, chigambo cha katonda. I'm here to share with you the word of the Lord. Tweba zanyo mukama, kuluwaba ugezi, abafudeko wagulu. We thank the Lord so much for the people that have spoken to us in the morning. Our souls have been blessed. Nem service, no. Even in this service, we are still preparing our souls as a ministry, as individuals at whatever level that we are. To see that we pursue the vision that's in our midst. The Bible teaches us in the book of Proverbs. Musula Ngero. The book of Proverbs. Isula Yabiri Mwenda. Uh, chapter 29 and then verse 18 uh, you can open your Bible and we get there together there is a vision that is in our midst that we need to sustain and to follow and till when that exact thing that was upon the heart of God when he was bringing this vision comes to pass because the search gamble vision instead of revelation. If you can find the Bible version that uses the the word vision instead of revelation. To summary kawo or nyidi or kuminomana, Proverbs chapter twenty-nine, verses eighteen. Ah uh, ngero abidi mum abidi mumu and ore kuminomana. Waga mantia watari kole sewa abantuba suroku ziziwa. Praise be to the Lord. Where there is no vision, people cast off restraint. People cast off restraint. Yes, uh, restraints. When we are walking in this journey of life, there are many things that are before us that can be admired, that can be admired. But not everything or not every one of those things are pleasing. Not all those things are acceptable. Not all those things are acceptable. So what helps us not to be taken up by all those things that someone can admire and even like? Such that we hold fast on to certain things and then we forsake or leave others. Then what can help us do that is a vision, what we call a vision. Whenever you have a vision, it means you are focused at some point and all your effort 
is towards reaching such a point where you are focused. Versions and Alachevas Gambant, without vision, people perish. That's why other versions say, Nti Awatari Kole Sewa, Abant Bazikirida. Kuango Kole Sewa, Kukuyamba, Okwe Kumida, Murugudo, Luoteke Doktambulam. Because the vision hopes you to keep moving along the right path in which you're supposed to walk. Okole Sewa Kukulete, Okwe Kereza, Ebi Intuebi Muni Wankwa Denga, Viego Mbewa. A vision helps you. To leave certain things, even when they may be good and admired, because of the vision that you have. Ngobweleza, tulino kole sewa, tulino lugendo lo kole sewa, luetu tambula. As a ministry, we have a journey with a vision that we are walking into. Tulino kole sewa, kututunulide, kwetu ya ya no kulabanga kutu ukiriziwa. There is a vision that we are looking to, and all our efforts and desire is that it we see it come to pass. Edo lo kole sewa uko. And because of that vision, we wake up early in the morning, even when sleep is still sweet at such a time. Bible Gambi, awatali kuole sewa, abantuwa zikirida. The Bible says, where there is no vision, the people cast off restraint. Okole sewa kwe kaniseno. The vision of this church, kustatinga, Nti, a renewed man, a, new, a renewed inner man to the full stature of Christ. Nti, omuntu aziduo buja okutuka kuchigera cha Christo. A renewed inner man to the full stature of Christ. Omuntu omunda aziduo buja okutuka kuchigera cha Christo. Every preacher that stands on this platform must have a purpose at the back of his mind to see to it that whatever he is communicating, whatever he is saying, whatever he is trying to do is building someone's inner man to see to eat that it comes to the full stature of Christ. The standard is Christ's stature. Standard ya chigera cha Christo. So that's what we long to attain. We don't yearn to be like any man. Even when we admire some people. Even when we can learn from some people. Our greatest desire is to see to it that our spirit man has attained to the level of Christ. For the Bible says, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, Having time, you can begin with verse 11. And the writer describes the purpose as to which the church is given the different offices of operation. There is a reason, there is a purpose. Why that apostle is stationed wherever he is stationed? Why that teacher is stationed where he is stationed? Why that pastor is positioned in the capacity where he has been positioned? 
Let's let's look at this scripture. I know severally we've looked at them, but let's revisit them. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 11. You can read. Eroyo now abala lokubera abatume. Nabala laba nabbi. Nabala laba bulizi. Nabala la abalunda naba yigiriza. Olokutu kiriza abatukuvu. Olomu limogu kuweleza. Oloku zimbo mbiligwa kristo. Ok. Following these scriptures slowly. But what to go mpola mpola. He first gives us the offices. Asoka na tuwa offices enja ulo. There is an apostle. Wali uomutume. There is a prophet. Wali uonabi. There is an evangelist. Wali uomubulizi wenjiri. There is a pastor. Wali uomusumba. There is a teacher of the word. Wali uomusumisa wechigambo. After giving us the offices. Bwamalo tuwa offices enja ulo. He gives us the reason as to why those are the offices he has stationed. Atuwane nsonga. Luachi atadeo offices ezenja ulo. Number one. Echisoka. To equip his people for works of service. Nchi okutu kiliza haba tukuvu. Olomu limogo kuweleza. So. If whoever stands before us, whether in the capacity of an apostle. Whether in the capacity of a, a pastor, a teacher, an evangelist. He must make sure that whatever he is doing is equipping the saints. For the work of service. No Rachel, but I'm aware that I'm not. I'm either maso gafe, or I'm much much tiwa chomu tume, or I'm mobulizi, or I'm musumba. I know kulabanti. I too kizaba tukuvu, or I'm only mogo kuereza. And to you as a listener, aterigwe, atuliriza. It becomes a measuring scale for you. Kakavere akapima. That you'll be able to examine and always have this question. As I listen to this, does it equip me for works of service? Is this that I'm listening to equipping me for works of service? And you know it comes at an environment whereby we live in this generation where preachers are on your display, on your table, whenever you wish. It is just a click, it is just a touch on your screen and you have whoever you want. But always have a scale of measurement. This that I'm listening to, does it equip me for the work of service? Then number two. So that the body of Christ may be built up. The body of Christ to be built up. Me and you, we are the different parts of the body of Christ. When we come together, we form what we call the body of Christ. But the Bible has told us that we must be built up. And the process of building must be able to take us to a level until we all reach unity in faith. Unity in faith. Number two, it must build us to a level of reaching a knowledge of the Son of God, of attaining the knowledge of the Son of God. 
era birina okutuzimba fenna mu bumu obo kukiza no bwo kutegera omwana wa katonda and in the so doing we will be mature olwe tunasobola okubera abantu abakulu that means that the building that takes us to the level of unity in faith and the building that takes us to a level of acquiring the knowledge of the son of god brings us to maturity so okuzimbibwa okututusa kusechimu mukukiriza no kutuka kutegera katonda kuba kutukuza mu kigera cha kristo and then he says until we attain to the whole measure of the fullness of christ betulituko kuba omuntu omukuru okutuka mu kigera ekyo obukuru obwokutukira kwa kristo so the standard measure of of christian or spiritual maturity is so, christ so edala kwetu inzo okupimira obukuru bo omuntu mu kristo ye kristo and in verses 14 he Muli. says then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning of craftiness of people in their deceitful scheming mulekuminenya agama ntulemenga okubera na tabana abato nga tuyugana nga tutwaliwanga buli mpewe yokuyigiriza mu bukusa bw'abantu mu nkwe olwo kugobera okutesa ko bulimba then verse 15 he says instead of speaking the truth in love we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head that is Christ ore 15 agamant na ye bwetogeranga amazima mukwagalana tulioke tukule okutuka muye mu byonna gwe mutwe Kristo verses 15 from him the whole body joined and held it together by every supporting ligament grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work mulwe 10 omukaga agamant moyo mubiri gonna gwe gatti bo bulonji ne gunyweze bwa wamu buli nyingo ngerete byayo ngo kukola mu kigero kwa buli kitundu gwe kuli omubiri gwe yongero kukula olwo kwezimba mukwagalana so as we pursue the vision katinga tugoberera okolesebwa our pursuit is not dependent on human beings okugoberera kwafe tetukwesigamya kubantu but it must be dependent on god who gives the vision na yetu lino kubanga tukwesikamiza kukatonda because human beings are here today and tomorrow they are not there kubanga abantu olwalero webali na yencha basobolo butabao but the, but god who is the giver of the vision will always live na ye katonda atuwo okolesebwa ye mulamu emirembe jonna people die abantu bafa but the vision does not die na ye okolesebwa tekufa the god who gives the vision does not die katonda atuwo okolesebwa tafa our god is a missionary god katonda wa fe katonda wa mission he entrusts his mission to human beings asobola kuba ko mission jawa omuntu oba abantu well knowing that human beings we are limited nga chimanyi bulunji nti abantu tulinako wetukoma that's why every one of us is walking is covering up a journey and where one ends the other one will pick it on yensonga lwachi buli muntu bwa tambulo olugendo abera ko ne walu tusa atomulala natandikirao ne yongera yo no mulimu that's why it is very important in our focus to focus on the giver of the vision other than the human being 
Yensonga lwachi wetuba tutambula mu lugendo lwaffe esira no kutunula kwa fe tutunulire katonda wo kolese watuleme kutunulira bantu ba kuwade considering ngatwegendereza Deuteronomy chapter 31 Deuteronomy esule ya satumwemo verses 14 olunyiriri olwe 14 when you get there you read Deuteronomy chapter 31 verses 14 Echa mateka asatumwemo ole 14 Wagamba bwe wat Mukama na gamba musanti laba enda kuzo zili kumpi chikugwanira okufa Yitayoswa muyanjule muyanjule muwema eyo kusinkanira mu ndio kemulagire awo musa mukama mukama yebazwe praise be to the lord the god that sees the journey katonda alaba olugendo the one that knows about today and tomorrow amanyi ebikwata ku lwalero no lwencha he was bold enough to tell moses yali muvumu nyo nagamba musa that the mission I've entrusted it to you. It is time to pass it, it on to another person. And when you consider verses 23 in the same chapter. The Bible says the Lord gave this command to Joshua, son of Nun. Be strong and courageous. For you will bring the Israelites into the land I promised them on oath, and I myself will be with you. Murabi Musatu, Musulayemu Agamba, Ntinala Gida Yoswa, Umana Wanuni, Nayo Garanti, Beda Namani, Gumo Moyo, Kubango Ling is Abanaba Isaidi, Monsi Genalai, Genavala Idida, Nangi Nabi Ranga Wamunawi. And by the way, these things happen when Moses was still living. And uh, when we get to the book of Joshua chapter 1, we'll find similar statements. Verses 1 to 9. Joshua, Esule Soka. And as a church, we can, uh, we can accord ourselves to be the Joshua generation. And as we consider ourselves to be the Joshua generation, then it is high time we get to study and learn certain traits and characters of the Joshua generation that we claim to be. How did those guys move on with the vision yet, yet Joshua had never gone to the mountain to see all what Moses was able to see? Abantu abo bachikola batya okusobola okweyongera yo ne mission chokanga tebali yo katonda nga ayogera ne Musa gwe badira mu bigere we are in Joshua chapter 1. We are getting through these lines. And as we read these texts, you, 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 you make sure you pick lessons. Cause your heart to pick some lessons. Joshua Joshua chapter 1. Can you read for us? Yes. Yes. Awaluatuka, muso mweleza wa mukama, buyamalu ukufa. Mukama na agamba yoswa, umwana wa nun, mweleza wa musa. Ngayo giranti musa, umweleza wa nga afudi. Kale kakano gulokoka, usomoko muka guno yorudani, guinaba antuba nobo na. 
muingire mu nsije mba wabo abana ba Israeli buli kifoche muri rinyamu ekigere chamwe buli kifoche muri rinyamu ekigere chamwe nchiba wademwe so as you keep noting he says arise agamba mugorokoke so you note that there is need for arising meaning waliwo and then you make a further study to find out what does it mean when God says arise. Continue reading. From verse 3. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Nolusozo no Lebanon okutuka ku mugo munene gwe mugga flat ensiyo ne yabakiti era no kutuka ku nyanje nene ku luyo lwe bugwanjuba we wali bensalo ya mmwe mm te wali bera muntu yenna alinzo okuyimira mu masogo enna kuzonezo obula mubo ngabwe naberanga ne Musa bwenti we naberanga nawe si kwabulirenga so si kulekenga Damu amani gumomoyo, mm. kubanga gwe oliva sixa abantu bano enche no jina laida ba jaja ba we okujiba wa. Mm. Na yema lokut damu amani no kugume nyomoyo, okwe kumango kukola ngai mateka gona we gadi muso muereza wangege ya kula gida. Mm -hmm. Tocha mango kugalika kumukono gwo ogwadio ni wangu bado gwa kono. Oliyoko webwe ngo mukisa buli jono ogenda anga yonna yes ekitabo kine kya mateka te kivenga mukamwako nayo no kiro wozanga mu emisana ne kiro mm -hmm. oliyoko we kume ngo kukola ngabyo nnabwe bili ebiwandikidwa mu verses 9 olwo mwenda gamba sinze nkulagide damwa amanyi gumo moyo Totianga, so teweka nganga. Kubanga mukama katonda wali nawe, bulijono genda nga yona. Mukama yebaswe. Praise be to the Lord. We begin to pick lessons. Tuta andiko kubako, nebye tui gawano. Number one. Echisoka. You will find that the Joshua generation is a generation that respects and honors the previous generation. Oja kusanga nti omule mbe guwa yosua guno Gwari gusamu echitiwa Omule mbe gulio gwari wo Nga guwa yosua teguna jia Despite the fact that there were challenges That were confronted by the Moses' generation Yadenga wali webi somoza Omule mbe guwa Moses abye guwa sanga For example they spent, they spent 40 days 40 years in the desert Having rotated around one place for 40 years. That is a great challenge. If you are the person who was called to take people out of Egypt and then take them to the promised land and you cause them to rotate around one place for over 40 years. Singo wete kamuchifocha Musa no beranga gwa iti dua kubango kule mbe raba ntu kubaji ya mumisiri Obatuale monsie nsuvize na ino maliri zanga raba ntu beto lide muchifochimu kumale miyaka na That was a great challenge Kwa hali kusomo za kunene There were still other challenges Wali unebi somo ze vila lavi inji Men of them were swallowed by the graves Ebi abamu kubo Many of them were beaten by poisonous serpents. And many of them did not make it to the promised land. There were great challenges. But, but the Joshua generation respected and honored the Moses generation. Na yu mulembe gwa yoswa Gwari gutia iranga guse chitiwa Mumulembe gwa Musa And that's why the Bible says in the book of Exodus Chapter 33 verse 11 
Yensonga lwachi mchitabo chokuva esula satu musatu lunyidole kuminorumo. The Bible says that Joshua never left the tent of meeting. Bible gamanti Joshua teyavanga muwema eyokusisinka nirangamo. He was always there with Moses. Yaberanga wa mu muwema ne Musa. And the, the important question here is wasn't Joshua seeing the failures of Moses? Kati chibuzo choyinzo kubuza kiri inti Joshua yali talaba bunafu na ngeri Musa je yakolanga mu ebintu olumunga maybe si bitufu Joshua respected Moses Joshua yali asamwe kitibwa Musa he honored Moses ya Musa amwe kitibwa and that gave him ground to be able to stand when his time came erecho chamu wa amanyi okubera kone watandikira and as we have just read even God himself says don't forsake whatever my servant Moses commanded you so that implies even God himself he expects the Joshua generation to respect to honor the Moses generation Katine katonda katonda mwe na yasubira omulembe gwa Yosua okubanga gusa mu kitibwa omulembe guli ogwa Musa gwali gumaze okuvao point number 2 ensonge yo kubiri the Joshua generation omulembe gwa Yosua is a generation of great people of faith mulembe gwa bantu aba amanyi aboku kiriza great people of faith Abantu aba amanyi aboku kiriza finding time you go to the book of numbers bonobo ofunye kisera ojagenda ko mu kitabo chokubala in chapter 13 esula ya 13 Moses sends 12 of people to go to spy the land Musa atuma abantu 12 okubanga bagenda okuspying gwange dala and on reaching into the promised land and seeing its beauty, they came back. In chapter 13, the Bible says they brought a report. But the ten of them gave a discouraging report. But Joshua and Caleb, they stood before the congregation and they told people that we will inherit the land not by our strength but just because God gave it to us. Because what we call faith is dependence, is trusting, is leaning against God's word. We rely on the word of God. We will win because he said we will win. We will overcome because he said we will overcome. You will attain that pursuit which you are pursuing just because God has said so. By self-consideration, you may be weak. You may not have the resources. You may not have what it takes. But just because God is said, He will cause things to work out just for the perfection of what God said. 
Katonda agenda kuchusa buli chintu chiberenga chikola okusobola kutukiriza echo che yayogera and for Joshua and Caleb they stood and said God said this land belongs to us it doesn't matter who occupies it now Boba imirira ne bagamba katonda yagamba nti tugenda kusikira ensieno obaba antu cha bali mo baba amanyi batya tugenda jisikira kubanga katonda yachogedde it doesn't matter how tall they are it doesn't matter how big they are. But we will inherit it because it came out of the mouth of the Lord. And the Bible says that God looks after his word to fulfill it. So I want to call on everyone who claims to be a Joshua generation. Then it is time to walk in faith. It is a time to trust the Lord. It is time to believe that the God who gave grace to the former generation will still give grace and much abounding grace to the new generation. Agendo tuwe chise chisukurumu Ne mwurembe guno Iraka tunda achari yomu But I have a question, a question At that point Na yini na Echoku kuo ninga muwano That test That faith is always tested Nchio kukiriza Kugeze sewa Faith is always tested O kukiriza kugeze sewa So as we are moving we will meet things that will test our faith. We will not need, but we will meet them. They must be there. In whatever form they will come. Just to test your faith. That just to test your reliance upon God's word. The book of James chapter 1. Verses 2 to 4. Just read our time is running. Yakobe Sule Soka Orunidi Oro Kubidi. Molozenga Yonoku mm. Besanyu, Baganda Bangi. Bemuna Gwanga Mukemewa, Ukutari Kumu. Ngamutegera Nga Kugezewa Ngamutegera Nga Kugezewa Koku Kiriza Kwamwe Kure Tokumi Kiriza. So he says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Number three, he says, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Then verse four, he says, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Murokuna, Agamantiro, Murimugok, Gumikiriza, Gutu Kirirenga, Murio Kemubeda, Abatu Kirida, Abarinabiona, Abatawebu Kamuchigambo Chuna. Faith is tested. Oku Kiriza, Kugeze Sewa. Why is it tested? Luachi Kugeze Sewa. Because it is precious. Kuanga, Kwamuendo Mungi. Because faith is precious, it will be tested. Kuanga, Kwamuendo Mungi. First uh, Peter chapter one verse seven. Peter de Chisoka, Esulemu, Orom Sanf. Are you there? We are Peter de Chisoka, Esulemu, Verse seven. Yes. O kugeze sewa kuwa kukiriza kwamwe, o kusingo muende zabu guau, 
ni wangkuba denge geze sebwa mmulido kuri oke kula vike ukule tetendo na chitiwa no kugulumizibwa yesu kristo kwa alibikuli wa ok so he says the testing actually I'll read in mine he says these have come so that the proven genuineness ntibinobyo nabize okubera anti obulungi obujitiriddo bwe chintu no not even obulungi the genuinity of your faith amazima oba okukiriza okutufu okutali mu bukusa okwa mazima okuli genuine that the genuineness of your faith because many people present themselves as having faith kubanga abantu banji bavayo ne beraganga abalina okukiriza and they have faith in things for certain reasons ngabalina okukiriza mu bintu ebimu olwensonga zaabwe but the heavens is interested in genuine faith na yeguru lyagala okulaba okukiriza kuno banga kwa dalala okukiriza okwa dalala apostle peter tells us that the genuine faith is of great worth than gold peter atugamba nti okukiriza okwa dalala kwa muwendo munji nyo nokusinga zaabu because gold perishes kubanga zaabu egwao but in its nature as gold a golden substance that perishes away it is refined na yene zaabu agwao ayisibwa mu muliro so since they can refine gold what about faith which is more precious more worth than gold kati wabanga zaabu agwao ayisibwa mu muliro na hagezesebwa kati atolwo okukirizo ko muwendo munji nokusinga zaabu and he says after the testing of our faith that after the testing of our faith that the intention is to cause a result of praise glory and honor unto Jesus Christ ntwolo ngokugesiba kuno muliro kuwedde kuliyoke kulabike okulete tendo ne chitiwa no kugulumizibwa Yesu Kristo wali bikuliwa so when you face all trials of every form and of every kind so bosanga ebigezo nebisomoze byenjaulo consider it pure joy sanyuka bijagulizemu because the intention is to bring a result that will bring praise to god glory to god and honor to god kubanga ekigenda okuva mu bigezo bino nokusomoza kuno chintu kigenda kubanga cha tendo you reach a level where you can acknowledge that it is not your strength it is not your wisdom it is not your ability it is not your wealth but the grace of god point number 3 the Joshua generation has the conquering anointing. Omulembe gwa Yosua guliko amafuta agobu wanguzi agawamba the conquering anointing. Whenever you might you meet that word the conquering, then mind that that implies to you that there are battles to fight. Baliko amafuta agawamba ekitegeza anti wali wao entalo ezirina okulwanibwa. They are battles to fight. Maybe for a, for several times you've been uh, fighting defensive battles. Oyinzo okuba obadde olwana naye nga wete kako bwete sirukomera mu ngiriyo. But now you have stretched God has granted you grace to come in another generation where it is now capturing fighting to take captive of whatever the enemy had stolen. Naye kati ate tuze mu mulembo mulalanga katonda kya kwetaza kuluno kufulu mo berengo linake bintu byowamba 
restore whatever the enemy had stolen. It is a generation of fighters. It is a generation of people that are bold. People that confront. People that know what they want. People that are not uh, doing whatever they are doing in laxity. It is a generation of people that are aggressive. Be because they know God is on their side. It is a fighting generation. And if you are not ready to fight, uh, allow me to say to you that you don't qualify to be part of the Joshua generation. We will fight. And we will have all that belongs to us. We will deal with the spiritual battles. We will fight financial battles. We will fight to see that whatever God planned for us will be into our possession. Number four. The Joshua generation is a generation of the book is a generation of the book. He said that this book of the law should never depart from your mouth. It's good you've read your Bible. But allow me to say to you, it is high time we read it more than we have ever read it before. For there is great revelation that God is willing to unveil if we invest efforts in reading the book. Read for us Joshua chapter 1 verses 8 and 9. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, friends, where we are, we should cry out for the hunger and thirsty for the word of God. The word of God should become the focal point of everything that we plan to do. We must be guided by the word of God. We must focus whatever we plan on the word of God. We must be willing to put away our carnal desires and, conf and flaunt the word of God. The Joshua generation is a generation of the word. It is time to read the Bible. It is time to invest time into reading the word of God than ever before. He says you will read and you will meditate therein day and night. And he says, in that way, you shall prosper. That's how 
you will prosper. We must be people of the word. We must reduce on words and increase on the word. We must go back to the realms of Ezekiel chapter 1 and chapter 2. Actually chapter 2 and chapter 3. Where God tells Ezekiel that get the scroll, open your mouth, eat the scroll before I can send you anywhere. And before you desire to minister, before you say, uh, why aren't they also giving me the opportunity to minister, to have the microphone in my hand? It is time to first invest in the word of God. God told Ezekiel, eat the scroll, eat the scroll. Read the Bible as though you have never read it. If need be, buy a new one. Where you, which you have never underlined. And now you begin. When you go in Ezekiel chapter 2. Uh, verses 8 he says but you son of man listen to what I say to you do not rebel like that rebellious people open your mouth and eat what I give you then I looked and I saw a hand stretched out to me in it was a scroll which he unrolled before me on both sides of it were written words of lament and mourning and wow. Ezekiel is laying up with the Romanana. Tinayegwe, Omana Omontu, Ulida Chenkugamba, Tobanga Gwemu Jemu, Nenyumbayo in Jemu, Yasama Kamako, Oriacho Chenkua, Awenatunula, Labomokono Nugolo Rinze, Elabo Muzingo Gwech Tabonga Guriomo. In chapter 3 verse 1 he says, And he said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll. Then go and speak to the people of Israel. Open the scroll and eat, and then after eating, go and speak. Whether you are an evangelist, whether you don't know your calling as yet, read the scroll. Soma in verse 2 he says so I opened my mouth and he gave me the scroll to eat then he said to me son of man eat this scroll I am giving you and fill your, your stomach with it so I ate it and it, is it tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth he then said to me son of man go now to the people of Israel and speak my words to them Okuva kuro kubiri au nenja samaka mwaka ange nandi so muzingo nanga mantu mwana wo muntu liso lubutolo ojuze byenda byo muzingo guno gwenkuwa kale ne ngulia ne guba mukamwa kange ngo mbisi gwenju cyo guwomerera au nanga mantu mwana wo muntu gendo tukeriye nyumba ya Israeli oyogere nabe bigambo byange mukama yebaswe praise be to the lord as we read the word of God, as we become hungry and thirsty for the word of God, we 
we will not only receive soft words but even the bones even those things that are hard because we are a generation of the word and to you preachers of this house you've come to the generation of the word and as you share with us the scriptures for us we shall be there in the congregation and measuring whatever verse you give us examining whatever you say but per the standard of the word of God we will not be taken by whatever people say but we will measure whatever people say by the standard of God's word and we are a generation of the word. Be ready to love the word. You have ever loved it? It is high time you renew, you revive your love for the word of God. The Joshua generation is a generation that does away with ungodliness. When you go to the book of Joshua chapter 7, the Bible says they had a battle before them. And when they went to the battle, they failed to conquer. Yet it is a, a conquering generation. Yet it is a generation anointed for battle. But this one time they failed in the battle. And they returned to the camp and inquired of the Lord. Why are we failing? Until God helped them to identify the cause of their failure. And they decided to do away with the ungodliness that was in the camp. So since we belong to that generation it is a responsibility on an individual level to make sure all whatever is called ungodliness is put away from your life. This is the only way we can be able to win. It is a generation that does away, that avoids, that does away with whatever that is not godly. And I will end with this. The Joshua generation is a generation of purpose. There are people that are driven by purpose. They are focused. They know where they are going. They know what they want. They cannot be perverted by whatever comes their way. And whatever they are doing, it is purpose number one. And that calls us to examine every motive of whatever activity you plan to do. Because 
Chetu planning wa chetu waga lukola. At a personal level. Kuungeri ya sechinomu. At a family level. Ku level ya family. Before people examine you. Ngaba ntibana kukebeda. Question your heart. What is the motive of what I'm doing? Wevu ze mutima guo. Ninabigende ruachi mchino chengendo kola. Wache nkola. Are you building the kingdom or you are unbuilding? Ozimba waka waka obo menya. As you prepare to say whatever you plan to say. As you prepare to do whatever you are going to do. Have a personal review and we, ask yourself. What is my motive? What is my purpose? Because we ought to live a life of purpose. And so we will be able to win. And God's grace will accompany us. And I want to say may God bless you. With those few words. There is a lot to learn about this generation. There are things that will call us to be adjusted. Because at a certain time as you read through the word, you ask yourself, why did it take God to come and announce to Joshua the death of Moses? Kubanga, bobo some bigambo binodia wotu kane webuza, lwa chichali cheta, gisa katonda mwene, okubanga ya ja, okulangiri danti musa, mwereza wanga afude. Probably also Joshua had fallen into the trap of the rest of uh, failing to rise up and doing what he must do. Obo liyao, neyo swanga ye, alami kana ye ali, nga wede mwa amanyi, nga wede nga ali mwavo, but God says, arise. So it is time to arise. So wherever you stand in ministry, arise. Worship team, arise. The people that share with us the word, arise. I don't more value on the message read it deeper than you have ever read those that lead us in prayer arise every department in this ministry it is time to arise every department in this ministry God bless you Amen, Amen. allow me welcome our pastor to come. Muzikirize. Pastor Joseph is here. Uh, we can welcome him. In Jesus' name. Yes, members of YouTube, Facebook, you know how we clap. You keep clapping until he's here. Yes, well, until when you see him, you keep clapping. So, Pastor, you're welcome. God bless you. Thank you so much, Pastor Sakira. Thank you for the word that you've shared with us. May God bless you indeed with your family. As I speak this, I welcome the instrumentalists, the worship team members. And Pastor, thank you so much for your dedication behind each and everything. May God bless you for that. We thank the Lord for you. And for the whole team. Of, min, of, of pastors and the different ministers the department is on now. and all the different departments. May God be glorified for the grace.
I want us to have some time of prayer that we get into. But we will get some songs. Worship songs as the Holy Spirit will lead us in our hearts. That we can get some time to speak to the Lord. Atonda Murido Eda Limuze Atonda Murido Yana Zayan Tukuzam Yanja Gada Kavaka Cheu Yisa Atonda Murido Eda Tara Limuze Atonda Murido, Atonda Murido, oh, era limuze, era limuze, Atonda Murido, yanda zayan tukuza, yanda gara, yanda gara, kavaka,
We thank you so much for the word that has been preached in every third service. We pray that you will continue to water it in our hearts. We ask for another grace as we enter this last week. 
Bulichi wateke katufune mwezi gunongo buwele za tuchisaba masogo. Whatever you purpose for us to get as a ministry through this month, Lord, we ask for it in Jesus' name. Okuita mseshen zona ze tukendo kubera na zo. Through all the sessions that we are going to have. Ngabe tu imbe mlu imbo uro tu saba yesu wa yongero kufuga. Jesus, we ask you to reign. Ofuge mitima jafi. Lord, reign in our hearts. Ofuge mchisibo mkama. Reign in the congregation. Ofuge masumba mkama. Reign in the pastors. Ofuge mu programu za fezo na. Reign in all our programs. Ofuge makaga fe yesu. Reign in our families. Ofuge mu mini mjemi kono jafi mkama. Reign at our workplaces. Ofuge mu guangali jafi mkama. Lord, reign in our nation. Eshtiwa chibere jori mkama. Return all the glory to you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Kama tumongere ngaleza mani inga tumsima. Let's clap to the Lord. Ar. Hadi tunawa kuunzika. Before we close. Ati ne vidango bitono ne msavi seno. We have a few announcements even in this service. And one of the announcements is that the week beginning tomorrow is our last week in the month of July. We are going to be having three sessions every day. We expect the pastors of the inner man ministry from our branch churches to come and join us. Uh, to a spiritual cover week. To uh, a week to week to and we believe there is something spiritual that God is going to add unto us. And maybe it's the one that will take us through another season. We encourage you to continue following on all our media platforms. May God be exalted. We thank the Lord for the pastoral committee for planning so well for us. Amen. Amen. Uh, the second announcement, we are continuing with the Tuzimbe project. And I know next Sunday, we shall have the committee members to come and give us an update. We we encourage you, those of you that have already made pledges, and even those that have not yet made pledges. We those that have pledged being a COVID time, we encourage you, even if you can make partial payments, please do so. We believe God is going to enable us and even those of you that have not yet joined us, please, we welcome you. God is good. Uh, we shall be informing you of all other things in our services. We are going to give in the house of the Lord. Uh, those on the different platforms, you, have, you can see the numbers on your screens. Uh, for those on radio, uh, MTN, not Ate abakoze sa momope machant code e yabe mutien a nyongera koku saizi ali mubiu meyo sobola zira babulungi my eyes are not so good right osobola koku sa machant code 
merchant code. Uh, hey, ma merchant code ya MTN 8315818 uh, ate ya Airtel 8116285 Thank you those are Amina. the Amen Our them services is uh, what they were those that have been in our services uh over the work come katuna come again for bono why you made a way uh, we had the word of wisdom that if you're going to offer in such a style, Chifana Gana and Gabo no Vancho no Wayum service, Gabit Vatkungan, you know, take a case in the Zombasa. You can read exactly the same way you prepare your offering when you are coming physically for church services. I take his anti Wobo, Gendak Saba service, better online, go no Wayum, get it online, Edano Kuayo, take a car. So you also prepare yourself for such a time where you can give in your offering online. You also prepare your offering on your phone. No banga kati chisera chino wechitu kilange. Sente zo rede kwe zili ngobo genda kwenyinga unyizi. Such that by the time we come to a moment like this of giving, when your money has already been loaded on your account and you are just going to press. Kabona haba sabanga na hawe kati obo onyizene zikeenda. As the servant of the Lord or priest is praying, you are also sending in your offering. Choka atene boba to subode kuwayo msera wechiti. Echisere chayache nechirunji cho kuwayo konti. Enambezo zengini osobolo oziko zesa. Even when you are unable to do it together with us at such a time as during the service, you can even do it at any other time using those very numbers. Mungeri ndarabo boi nao wandiko solo bi wandika. Kapapula obanchitabo chomo wandika. Mkama wakwero mksa. Uh, it would be good for you to note down these numbers and have them, I think, in your notebook such that at any time when you want to give in your offering, you can do so. But we want to thank you for all the different kinds of giving that you do. Uh, when the church is virtual, we, we are learning and we've changed many things to do them the virtual way. So even giving has become virtual. And we can't tell how long it's going to be. But we need the provision from God. So it's so important for us to remain faithful in the different kinds of ways that I, we can I want to pray a blessing Heavenly Father we come before you and thank you thank you for the grace you've given us this morning thank you for the spiritual food that you've given to us thank you for the spiritual food that you've given to us and thank you for your provision in the different ways that we've gone through. The 42 days are almost coming to an end, but it has been by your hand. We don't know whether they will be extended. But whatever it is, we decide to look to you, God. To provide for us. As your people give in the tithe, the first fruits, and all kinds of offerings, I pray that you will stretch your powerful hand, your mighty hand of provision to us, that you will provide in all issues. It's you that stretches your hand and everything receives food. It's my prayer that you'll meet our needs according to your riches in Christ Jesus. I ask for life. Life for your people. For protection upon us, Lord. We ask for the grace upon the different families. Even this week, O oh Lord, 
be together with us. We have asked and through thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We thank all of you that are watching us and listening to us. Thank you for following us. We thank all those people that have been behind the camera. Those in the 